Hi, welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to look at ratios and we are going to concentrate on the unitary method to solve problems. So the first question I want to take you through is as follows. So the ratio of girls to boys in a class is 65 and there are 18 girls and I want to know how many boys there are. I want to bring your attention to the, the ratio in itself and uh, a lot of people get confused with this and um, and uh, you need to make sure you understand that properly. The six refers to the girls and the five refers to the boys and the and how I know it is quite simple. You just keep the order of how the question is written. So in our case, uh, the girl is written first, so therefore the six corresponds to the girls and uh, we have the boys next, so the five corresponds to the boys. And also, when you are using ratios, you have to understand that um, you are sharing things. Okay, in our case, uh, we are sharing students into six, uh, sixty-five, and each part have to be equal. So the six parts and the five parts. And I've um, drawn a diagram here to show you. Um, they, they they have to be equal. So you can see that this is one part, and it's the uh, same as this part here for the boys. Um, so let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, see how we can solve this problem. So first of all, so I have 18 girls, and they're represented by six parts. So in order to find how many girls I have for one part, I'm going to do 18 divided by Six, and that gives me three girls. So for each box, I would have three, 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 and three. And if you look at the total, that makes eighteen. Now, if you remember what I said to you earlier, when you are doing ratios, you are sharing things equally. So that must mean. Uh, now for the boys, I'm going to have three here, three here, three here, three here, and three there. And um, you can figure out the answer for the number of boys by doing three times five. And the reason why I'm multiplying by five is because I've got five parts here. Okay, referring back to this number. So three times five is equal to fifteen. So step number one, I figured out how much was one part. And that was three girls in our case. And um, and I multiplied the answer by so the three, sorry. The answer that I got which was three, I multiplied it with five because I have five parts of voice. And uh, this is how you solve uh, this problem. Uh, let me show you another question. So what I want you to do is pause this video, read the question, and see if you can do that one on your own. And um, after that, uh, replay the video again and see whether you got the right answer. So to solve this question, we know for a fact that we're talking about sands, sands and rubble and it's in the ratio of 4 to 3 and um, we know for a fact we've got 80 kg of sand which is being used and we want to know how much gravel is used so again just like I said to you before for the sand we have four parts so for the sand we have Four parts, and for the gravel, we have three parts, and we also know that we have 80 kg of sand being used. And um, <clears throat> what I need to do is figure out how much. Uh, gravel I need to use. So like I said to you, we have to share things equally and I'm going to use the 80 kg here 
and the four parts here to figure out how much one part is worth using the unitary method. Then I'm going to multiply this answer by the three parts here to figure out how much gravel I need. So step number one, I'm going to do 80 divided by 4. And again, I'm dividing the 80 kg because it's sand by 4 because the, far, the 4 is for the sand. And 80 divided by 4 is equal to 20. And step number 2, I'm going to use my answer which is 20 here. And I'm going to times that by the number of parts I have for gravel which is 3. And that gives me 60. So we need 60 kg of gravels. 60 kg of gravels. And uh, that's it. So um, I hope that helped and I'll catch you in another video tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye.